and how we see you and how you wake up. How Sock reminded me we got to have some fun. You guys have hard jobs as athletes. You're exhausted. You have to have some fun. You have to have a laugh. You know, you know what? they say 90% uh, is just showing up. Not for athletes. No, no, no. Not for athletes. Showing up is not nearly enough for our athletes, student athletes, college athletes, whose full-time job is supposed to be academicians. You have to do it all. You have to have commitment. If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. Have you heard that expression? If you don't stand for something, you'll fall for everything. You cannot fall for anything. We can't have that. So I really feel that I've had kind of a blessed life, and it's my obligation. It really isn't a choice. People say you're going to retire. I'm like, yeah, no, never. I don't think that people like me have the right to not give back um, every single day in multiple ways. So um, I'm going to keep doing it, but then also coming here and seeing these bright young faces, listening and attentive and doing their very best inspires me. I'm going to have a better day because I was here today. These kinds of what I would call interventions uh, are um, are important because they hear their coaches all the time, they hear me all the time talk about certain things uh, and things that we'd like to see them do and uh, what the important things are in being a student athlete. But then when you get somebody from the community, uh, someone in a leadership position like Dr. Spall, uh, someone who's done what she's done, someone who values education and someone who gives back to the community, well there's a picture right in front of them that says this is what we want to be. This is what life is all about. This is what education, growing and developing is all about. So I just thought today was incredibly important for them to, to hear. I think it emphasizes the gifts that we have. It shows us that we are super privileged to be here and a lot of people have given us a lot of tools for us to be successful. And by having her speak to us about the tools that we already have, we can go somewhere with them and do something with them like she has. Well, to hear from someone who spent some time at RIT and also has done so much for the Rochester community, it really teaches you a lot about what an individual person can do for an entire community. Like without her, definitely a lot of the uh, a lot of the children who uh, are receiving benefit just from on her behalf. It's really inspiring to know that you can make a difference just as one individual.